This video was created by Vinyl Lake Puma of Vinyl Lake Puma Gaming. What's going on everybody? This is Vinyl Lake Puma and today I want to talk about how games for Windows Live just won't die. Now for those that don't know, Games for Windows Live is basically a DRM platform as well as the counterpart to the Xbox 360, Xbox One, and the original Xbox's uh, famous Xbox Live platform. Now, of course, the big difference between Games for Windows Live and Xbox Live is that Games for Windows Live, um, I'm sorry Microsoft, uh, throw a ton of rocks at me, but it sucks. Now, if you've been following the news lately, you would know that Games for Windows Live was supposed to end in July of this year. So basically, if you're counting the days down, it would literally have been seven days from now. Um, now, what's kind of interesting about all this is this is what Microsoft had to say, according to Game Informer. And I'll link that article in the description. We are continuing to support the Games for Windows Live service. As previously announced, as part of the retirement of Microsoft Points, the Xbox.com PC Marketplace was closed. Although customers are unable to purchase new games from the Marketplace or receive title updates, they can continue to enjoy previously purchased content by downloading them through the Games for Windows Live client as usual. We remain committed to invested in PC gaming in the years ahead and look forward to sharing more in the future. Now, on the one hand, this is actually pretty cool because um, Games for Windows Live had the Games for Windows Live Marketplace. And of course, if you bought a game from the Games for Windows Live Marketplace, since Games for Windows Live was officially uh, on the downward trajectory and was going to eventually end, in like a couple days i mean the fantastic thing about this is if you bought your games from that marketplace you'll be able to keep them so um i think that's a fantastic idea by microsoft and that was a really good move but what's peculiar about this is how a lot of big companies triple a companies like 2k and uh bethesda I, I mean, and even Capcom, they basically took the time to port their games over to Steamworks or at least remove the shackles that were games for Windows Live and put their games on Steamworks. I mean, you think about it, these studios spent probably significant resources or at least some amount of resources, probably more than you'd think, on trying to get these games to come over to Steamworks and of course a couple of them are like Bioshock 2, Batman Arkham Asylum and Arkham City, uh, Fallout 3 which I mean that game came out in 2007 and then of course Super Street Fighter 4 um, I mean the thing is these were old older games and these studios because they wanted you to continue playing their games moved all their stuff over to Steamworks. And man, they've got to be livid that this service is now going to continue in spite of their efforts. At this point, I'd kind of like to give my thoughts on why this ultimately happened and why they deci Microsoft decided to keep games for Windows Live afloat. Um, first off, I think the big thing that we're looking at here is not all of these publishers, developers, wanted to spend the resources to port their game over to Steamworks. Um, sadly, one of the most notable ones, which is for the gameplay you're watching here, is Dark Souls. Uh, Namco Bandai said it will remain functional as of um, the end of games for windows live but i mean when you were playing you can play the game today and games for windows live is still working there's no conversion patch there's none of that and really i feel like that's why um in a lot of cases that games for windows live games um particularly uh dark souls uh are still um, that's why this service is still around, because otherwise, um, if they had actually ended the service, they'd be unplayable. Some of this too, though, I think is also the result and kind of a PR stunt by Microsoft themselves. Um, lately, Microsoft has kind of looked at the PC gaming realm and just kind of thought, you know, I mean, 
PC gaming doesn't do as well as console gaming and our Xbox and our Xbox 360 and Xbox One consoles. So, I mean, what we're just going to do is we're going to ultimately abandon the PC platform and just kind of move on to consoles because they sell better and the game copies of the game sell better. Um, and I think that's ultimately, this is, I think, how Microsoft in some weird way feels like they're getting good with the PC gamer. Ultimately, what I think is so sad about this is that um, games that really would have benefited from Steamworks, particularly Dark Souls, um, is that, I mean, you're going to be playing it on Games for Windows Live. I mean, is Games for Windows Live, like, is online multiplayer going to work after the July the 1st? Or, I mean, like, what's going to happen? Because, really, Dark Souls and Dark Souls PvP is a big deal. Um, if it's not working, then, I mean, a huge component of what is Dark Souls is gone. Anyways, guys, these are my thoughts. Uh, this was a bit of a longer video today, um, but I think it was well-deserved. Uh, um, for it to be this long. So what do you guys think? Do you think that uh, the fact that games for Windows Live is going to survive is fantastic and you are happy about it? Um, or are you like me and you think, God damn it, why didn't they just let it die? Why didn't they just let it go and admit it as a loss? Um, but yeah. Anyway, guys, I hope you did enjoy this video. If you did like the video, please be sure to rate, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. It really helps me out. Otherwise, I'll see you guys later. Take care, guys, and have a good one.